is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all all gone separating let me stir it up a little bit it's actually this smoothie mix which i've never tried before it's from MS and it is cucumber pineapple kale spinach and lime which is like all the things that i'd normally put in a green juice um but green juices i find they're just do you know what it is i go out and buy all of the fresh like veg and fruit i either can't be bothered to make one because ugh, the juicer is just such an effort to clean i know that sounds lazy but if you have a juice you will understand the pain of cleaning it um and i just don't really fancy it so sometimes i waste all of the vegetables so i thought it'd just be so much easier to get it frozen and then it can stay in the freezer and whenever i fancy it i can just get it out it looks like this about to do the taste test let's see if it's any good you are actually meant to blend this with juice but I just blended it with water because I didn't have any juice. So it might be nice with like a nice pineapple juice or orange juice or something like that. Mmm. Tangy. Very refreshing though. It's almost like... It's the texture of like an ice blast. I actually really love that would recommend do you know what actually last night i received an avocado order if you watched my vlog last week you will know that basically i have been on the hunt for little moons everywhere and i actually like every single day would check avocado because they have every single flavor um and I got some which were delivered last night we haven't tried them yet because we are saving them to do a little taste test i put them on my instagram and so many of you wanted to see like are they worth it which flavors are nice so we're gonna try some of them tonight and see what we think um but i picked this up from ricardo i'm not sure if they have this in actual ms stores i've never seen it but i also got as well for smoothie bowls which I thought would just be really, really nice. I got two of these, which I've never seen before. Um, and they're literally in little sachets as well. So there's four different sachets in here. And all it says is you soak it in warm water for one to two minutes and then blend two of these packs with half a banana or fruit of your choice. And then pour it into a bowl and then pop like granola and coconut and like fresh fruit on top. So I thought I could make some really nice smoothie bowls with this. Um, I love like nice refreshing things. As soon as the, it's the sunniest day ever today actually, which is really, really nice because we had that week of like pure spring and then the clouds came out and they just did not go. Apart from today, the skies are literally just completely blue, which makes me very happy. And it just made me fancy something super fresh. I love like drinks like this in the summer um, and I thought this would be just a really nice little breakfast or brunch to make when it gets a little bit warmer. Do you want to go outside? <laughs> I've been letting the cats out each morning. Now it's a little bit warmer into their little pen outside. 
Here's one very curious cat. This one's Teddy, if you can't tell. They both look just exactly the same as each other now. As soon as Tilly smells the fresh air, she will be out here too. Jamie actually built this on New Year's Eve, I think it was. Um, and they didn't really like it out there when it was super cold, but now the weather's a little bit warmer. Here she is. <laughs> they love just sitting out here and just sniffing the fresh air. They usually both sit down there, which is so cute. You like out here? <laughs> If I could take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I'd knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung desperately The other ring of my wrist is gold Pairing with the light it holds when I return from my spinning ball, I'm remembering the words you told me. Wait, hold on. We'll be together. Take me back where I belong. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait, hold on. Just tried out my new coffee whipper the first time I got this from Amazon because sometimes I want like cold coffee um, to obviously go on my iced coffees and the one in the Nespresso machine actually is warm so I got one of these and it's absolutely brilliant like it's made the most perfect frothy milk and it was literally like £10 you pop some batteries in and then I got myself a little jug as well and it just whips it up amazing also picked up these super cute glass cups from urban outfitters um i got these a few weeks ago because i just thought they'd be so perfect for spring i also got my mum one of these for mother's day which i think she will absolutely love I felt like I needed to finish before I did anything else because otherwise they just kind of like stay on my mind and I feel like once I've got some bits ticked off my to-do list I just feel a lot better about the day ahead and I feel like my mind is just so much clearer. I've also just started one of my online courses that I'm currently doing. I'm currently doing a online course which is all about interior design, um, which I'm really, really, really enjoying. I'm currently on lesson number four out of 13. Hey my loves, this part of today's video is very, very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. You guys probably heard me speak about Skillshare around Christmas when I was doing my productivity course. But if you haven't heard of Skillshare before, it's an online learning community and there are thousands of really amazing courses to choose from. There's courses from animation to lifestyle and productivity. If you are feeling at all uncertain right now, creative challenges and productivity classes can be a great way to help you structure your time and set up achievable goals. I also find it really nice filling my time with doing something productive. So as you guys know, we are currently house hunting and I just thought an interior design course would be perfect to learn now and then when we move into a new home it'll be a completely blank canvas and hopefully I'll be able to use all of the skills and tips that I've learned from this course to decorate our new home and just really really make it ours. There was actually a quiz which I did yesterday and it's all about like finding your style which was so interesting and 
It taught you basically how to decorate your home to express your personality, which I think is so cool. What I actually love about the Skillshare courses the most are each lesson is quite short. So you're not committing like hours of your time to each lesson. You can kind of just do it when you fancy it. And I find things that are like 10, 15 minutes long, really, really manageable to do daily. I like to think of these lessons as just taking a little bit of me time. I like to make the office all cozy and light candles and make myself a nice coffee and just sit down and take a little bit of time out and learn something new because it just makes me feel, I don't know, it makes me feel really productive but also having a bit of time to myself if that makes sense. The course that I'm currently learning is actually being taught by Emily Henderson who's an amazing stylist. She has her own interior design blog and I've actually seen loads of her work on Pinterest. Pinterest is like my number one place to get interior inspo. I discovered actually a lot of my saved pins from Pinterest. I've got literally so many Pinterest boards. I've got kitchen inspo, bathroom inspo, general home inspo, coffee table inspo, and I noticed a lot of my saved pins were actually Emily Henderson's work, which is insane. So it's really, really nice to be able to almost relate to her in a way because I've already found her work that I absolutely love. So I just, I find I really trust what she's saying. So my love, Skillshare are actually offering a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership to the first 1,000 people that click the link in the description box. So if you do fancy learning some new skills and just finding a course that really interests you, then all you need to do is head to the description box and if you are one of the first 1,000 people, you will get a free, free trial of the premium membership. So I am gonna finish my lesson for today. It's actually only six minutes long, which is amazing. And I'm two and a half minutes in and today's lesson is all about identifying your style. So I'm making some notes. So once I've completed this course, I've got all of my notes and I can just flick through them when I'm kind of like planning mood boards for new rooms and buying furniture, which I'm so excited for. I literally cannot wait to just make an entire house like ours. Like it's so, so exciting. So I'm gonna finish this and then I am gonna make us some brunch. I think I'm gonna make breakfast bowls um, today. We had them at the weekend and they were so yummy and so easy and healthy. So I think I've got everything for them actually. Um, so I'm gonna make those. <laughs> avocado i bought these extra large ones and they're absolutely huge then i also popped some little vine tomatoes in the pan with some fried egg under here a little bit of sweet potato i popped this in the microwave first and then just sliced it up and popped it in the pan just to make it a little bit crispy then we've got some spinach and also some sausage down here i actually bought these sausages from waitrose the other day because they were reduced and i thought i'd give them a try and they're so yummy so if you haven't tried these definitely give them a go because they are delicious so we've just got some of those and again the same with these i cook them in the pan for like 10 minutes and then take them out and slice them up so this is today's lovely little brunch show me where the ending goes honest honestly don't i should be the last to know Yeah. 
hallowed moon I mistook you for a dream The engine glows And I guess you always seem to know I have well and truly just fallen down the rabbit hole which is also known as Pinterest. I literally have so many different boards on the go at the moment um, because I just love to keep things all together. So I've got neutral home inspo, living room inspo, kitchen inspo, bathroom inspo, dressing room inspo, um, healthy meal ideas, spring summer outfits, bedroom inspo, a bit of everything really. And I really just can't wait to almost like bring my Pinterest boards to life. Um, I just feel like it's been so long now since I've kind of, I don't know, I feel like I've moved house so many times in the past few years. Obviously the first time I lived on my own was in the cottage which I was in last year was it? No. 2019. I still think we're in 2020 sometimes, I feel like every day and month and year just morphs into one at the moment. Um, but when I first lived on my own in the cottage, I... Do you know what? I loved that cottage so much and I loved the area as well and I feel like if I could choose anywhere to live it, it would be the village that the cottage was in because it was just so beautiful and it just had that really like, it had that really lovely cosy atmosphere to it and I love the cottage so much but it just wasn't practical um, and I feel like I kind of outgrew it in lots of ways so then obviously last January I moved here and I love this house so much like I really really do it's a new build and I loved as well how when I moved in I was the first person to live here and it was a complete blank canvas but there's still that like niggle in my brain where I'm like it's it's not ours do you know what I mean um, I mean it couldn't be helped because because renting has been my only option for the past few years and I don't think there's anything wrong with renting at all like I think it's amazing if because it can allow you to live on your own without having everything that you need for a mortgage but I have realized just how hard it is to get a mortgage when you are self-employed there's just so so much to it especially when you do this job um, but yeah I just feel like I'm so ready now to own a home and be able to really make it like ours like I feel like I've kind of done that here but there are lots of little things that I'd love to change so excited for that chapter and making my little boards on Pinterest just I don't know it makes me really happy like making little mood boards for the living room and yeah I'm excited for that day to come Whilst I have been browsing on Pinterest, I am currently on the second to last episode of Ginny and Georgia and I'm upset about it. I don't want it to end, I always do this, but I really, really, really enjoyed watching this so much um, and I've kind of been like longing out, <laughs> so I've only been allowing myself to watch like one episode at a time um, and I kind of like try and spread them out each day because I really just don't want it to end. I feel like once it's over I'm going to watch it again. I don't want it to end, if you haven't seen it please watch it, it's so good. Um, and me and Jamie are actually watching the third Marcella at the moment as well. I only thought there was two and then one of you guys messaged me on Instagram saying that there was three and I was like oh my god. The third one is on ITV Player and it's amazing. I love Marcella so much so we actually only have one episode left of that at the moment as well so I think next we are going to watch Your Honour on now tv which has one of the main characters of breaking bad in it you guys know how much i loved breaking bad so i'm looking forward to starting that once we've finished marcella but i'm not looking forward to finishing Ginny and georgia i'm gonna have to find something else similar to give me my fix <laughs> so in my vlog last sunday i showed you guys the new bits that i got from h&m um and i've also been doing a mad one on zara so I thought I'd show you the new bits that I've got and as it's like the sunniest day ever it's making me just so excited to be able to just wear like really pretty blouses and dresses. That's the thing that I picked up. This is probably my favourite item out of the entire like everything that I've bought from Zara. 
and I got these shorts. I'm always on the hunt, like I said in last week's video, for the perfect pair of shorts. And I've got like quite a few pairs of like floaty shorts now that I feel like will be brilliant for when it's really hot. I thought these would be perfect for like spring um, and a little bit more dressy. So I'm thinking like pub garden vibes. Literally cannot wait to just sip on a really cold drink in a pub garden or like a nice little lunch, a cute outside coffee day, a trip to the beach, basically just any like nice occasion. I thought these would be lovely and these are quite thick. They're also quite fitted as well and oh my god they look so nice on. Like when I put them on the other week because this is like a collection of stuff that I've been collecting for the past few weeks. I was like, wow, these are the shorts that I've been looking for for so long. And I thought these would look so nice with like a nice floaty blouse tucked in, um, or even like a little crop and a big oversized like white blouse over the top. So that'd just be such a nice easy outfit. And I've got these in a size small. They are the perfect fit and I just cannot wait to wear these. I struggle to find like slim fitting, like cigarette style trousers that like fit me. Usually they're too long, my legs are so short and they just never really look right. But these are really lovely. So I got these in a 10. They are slightly too big, but I'd prefer them to be a little like looser than tight because I feel like when these types of like fitted trousers are tight, they just don't look right. Um, but these have got such a high waist, they're pleated as well. So I feel like when something's high waisted and pleated, it kind of just like, I don't know. I just love them. I think they're so flattering. And again, I thought these would be amazing with a nice white shirt. Um, and I thought that would be such a lovely outfit with sandals for a lovely summer's dinner. Oh my God, I'm so excited for just normal life, guys. Like, honestly, I just can't wait for some normality. <laughs> so next I picked up this big oversized linen shirt called a bedtime shirt and it's really really long it literally comes down to my knees and I thought this would be so nice to sleep in in the summer um just thought it'd be nice and light and airy this a while ago actually but I've been keeping it in its box to show you I got this really cute little sleeveless vest which is the perfect transitional piece to go from like winter to spring um this would look really lovely actually with these trousers they'd look so nice together and again lightweight so perfect when the weather gets a little bit warmer so i got this blouse which i love so much and i, I feel like if you'd shown me this last year i would have been like no that doesn't suit me but this year I just feel like i've grown up a lot since then but it's just this this is kind of like this gives me mumsy vibes like this is something that my mum would wear um but it's like quite a long blouse and it's got this like embroidered pattern on and i just thought this would look lovely with a pair of shorts tucked in sipping on a cold drink in the pub garden how many more times do I want to say that um so the last thing i picked up from zara is this beautiful dress now the thing is with this dress it doesn't look it's one of those things that on zara website I just feel like they haven't styled it to its full potential and it's one of those you see and you think you really like I have to try that on with it completely styled up the right shoes like hair and makeup done it's one of those um and basically it's this dress which is quite like loud for me usually I wear quite plain stuff um but I love the fit of this and this is like why I saw it in the model and I was like I feel like with a skinny belt that's gonna be incredible so let me actually stand up so I can show you. It is, so the neckline is all frilly. It's long sleeves and it's got like this frilly detail, which I love. And then it's like mid axi It's like to there. So it's like just above my ankles. It's lovely and flowy, but I did try this on without a belt and it kind of just, I don't know. I feel like with dresses like this, you do need to style them up a little bit. So I got this really skinny black belt from ASOS um, and just tied it around the middle and then like pulled some dress up over it and it literally transformed the entire dress. And then I popped on some black Birkenstocks and yeah, it just looked really, really nice. And I'm always on the hunt for like dresses that I can just throw on and just feel nice in. 
Um, so yeah, this is definitely one of those. I ordered a medium and an extra small um, because those were the only two sizes left. I'm usually a size small in Zara. Um, but I would say definitely size down if you are going to order that dress because the extra small was still quite big. I think that's just kind of like how the dress is meant to be. But you don't want it too big because it kind of like... Because I feel like in floaty dresses, if you do buy it too big, it kind of does just drown you. So that's everything I picked up from Zara. Also, I was thinking, if you would prefer me to save all of these clothes that I show you in my vlogs and just do like a big try-on haul, I'm more than happy to do that. Um, because last week I had loads of my H&M haul and when I was editing it back, I was kind of like, hmm, would you guys prefer this to be a sit-down video with try-on clips? Like, let me know if that is something you would prefer and I'll stop doing like little clothing hauls in my vlogs and I'll keep everything together and then just do a big like Zara and H&M haul um, so you can really see everything because I feel like you just can't, you can't really see what something's like until you see it on someone. So my plan for now is I am going to go and pop a little bit of makeup on and sort my hair out and just make myself feel a little bit more presentable because me and Jamie have got a very very exciting appointment this afternoon. When you're in the car with your boyfriend and he spends the entire car journey moaning about his hair. Whoa, it seems to bite him. It's my eyebrow that's the issue. It's grown right into my hair, look. Honestly. Sometimes I genuinely just wish you would have a skinhead so I didn't have to listen. Skinhead? Take yeah. that back. I've got full trivia really skinhead. <laughs> I'll show you what? it. When did you have a skinhead? When I was in the army, Gemma. Yeah. I thought I was cool, didn't I? Were you, did, were you made to have a skinhead in the army or was it out of choice? No, you just have to have it short, but... But you had fully bold? Well, like number two or something, yeah. I, can't, I cannot <laughs> imagine you with no hair. Tight. Sorry, that I feel good. like I'd appreciate it though because we wouldn't have this conversation happens. <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Oh, do you know what? Actually, I'm not moaning because Jamie. You're already on strike oh. three. Basically, we had an argument yesterday and because Jamie was driving like an absolute lunatic. I mean, was I? We were going was around I? the corner and I was literally like. <laughs> but it was honestly. It wasn't. I actually, it almost went onto his roof, didn't it? Around the roundabout. We, we almost like flipped over. Yeah. And, um,. Basically, we, yeah. we had an argument. And well, Jamie, we were on Jamie, our way out to get a takeaway. Yeah. Really fancied a chopsticks, um, which is like it's like Chinese, isn't it? Maybe. But they're like these boxes, and you can like get different toppings on there. And anyway, drove to chopsticks, and whilst on the way, Lewis Hamilton over here was absolutely doing donuts around the roundabout right i'm like this <laughs> oh, no. whiplash <laughs> and i had i said to him jesus christ I, I can't remember what i actually said to you Just but moaning. we got into an argument but i don't love Gemma. <laughs> and he goes you're always moaning at me and i was like name a time and you couldn't name one single time no, so i could no this this is the thing right I could have. I could have named ample times, right? <laughs> but you couldn't! No, listen and hear me out. But I didn't want to make the argument worse. That sounds like someone who can't think of a, a time I moaned. So oh, basically, he said today. Struggle, Gemma. <laughs> he said today that he was going to put me on a moaning count. You already, yeah. What have I moaned about today? Look, I don't want to go into it. <laughs> there's three things. What? No, tell me. Tell me the three things if there's three things, Jamie. <laughs> Okay, so there was one time when you didn't moan, so that was, you were already on zero at that point though, but I expected you to moan because I had to brake hard because the person in front brakes hard. But that doesn't count because I didn't moan. Yeah, I know, that's what I mean, but I expected you to moan there, so you're doing well so far today. So why, why did, when did I moan for three times? So that wasn't the point. I can't remember, but we've been counting them and it's on three. Yeah, I feel like someone's making up this tally chart that you have in your head. Okay, we'll start on zero again. Okay. And every time you moan, we'll record it. Yay. <laughs> so today we are on a very exciting outing, aren't we? We are going to view a house. I never know whether to actually talk about this or not because I find this whole house buying process is very up and down. 
we see something we love, we get our heart set on it, and then it goes. Yeah. So I didn't really know whether to. I never know whether to update you on it. Um, but also, but, it's been hard to get a mortgage as well at the minute. Really hard, but we finally mm -hmm. got one. At an extortionate rate. <laughs> A massive deposit but we've got one <laughs> we've got one that's all that matters yeah we are off to view a potential house and if we love it we've got good feelings haven't we today good gut feeling about it um and if we love it then we might put an offer in today which is so exciting and i feel like there must be a reason why i'm vlogging it there must be a reason because you feel good yeah yeah must be must be a reason. It's in a little village that we've never been to before, so we're gonna scope all of that out today. Um, it has a lovely porch as well, which every time I see a house with a porch, I'm like, oh my God, think of the autumn porch. I could finally make a Pinterest pumpkin porch. And Jamie wants to build an outside office in the, in the garden. Office slash bar. <laughs> bar? <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> but his, um, but he's promised me that his first priority is to build my dressing room. <laughs> it's your first priority. I cannot wait to just have a room big enough for my hordes of things. Oh my god, I've just remembered my dream from last night. Are you going to share it with us all? I dreamt that we lived with your mum, but she lived in a three-storey house and it was really, really skinny. And we had this really weird room that was like under, you know, like Ottoman storage in a bed. <laughs> yeah. It was under there. <laughs> so we lived under a bed. <laughs> we lived in a bunker. I don't know what a weird dream. Why? Why would that have? Why would that be a dream? Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Any dream experts? We are just waiting for the estate agent, and I thought I'd give you a little sneak preview of the garden because the views are beautiful i think this will be a fence will it be a fence yeah, that's how it's going to be the fence that is the fence oh really so it's not going to have panels i can't i like that that will that will have panels so that one over there will have panels to the next door neighbor feather edge and then that i like it's that it will stay like this oh Raining. nice and then here's a look Here's a little sneaky look off the back of the house. Exciting. I can't wait to go inside. So, would you like to give everyone the good news? It's lovely. It's got a log burner. It's lovely. It's got a bath under the window. You know, like the... Um, Curvy one. Oh, I've always wanted one of them. And it has a his and hers sink. Oh, we've just been to... McDonald's. I've got a hell of a lot of drinks here. I got myself a Coke Zero and an Americano. And Jamie got a latte. I got myself a triple cheeseburger. Oh. Do you know what? Triple cheeseburgers are one of my favourite things in invention. life. They, oh, they're they so yummy. So we liked the house so much that... <laughs> we put an offer in. <laughs> I'm trying not to like... I know, but we. I'm trying not to get too excited about it. If it all goes through, it was meant to be. If it doesn't go through, it's not meant to be. Like that's literally how I'm looking at this house buying process. That things will happen when they're meant to. So don't get your hopes up. House market's busy at the minute, though. I can tell Jamie's been speaking to too many estate agents. <laughs> in the rural areas, especially now the stamp duty's been extended. Yep, that's my chair. Oh, that was a trump. <laughs> my chair, I was moving it up because I was like literally all the way back there. We drove around the local area. Wait, let me start that again. My hand was over my face. We drove around the local area. What even in? We drove. <clears throat> oh, take, take four. We drove around the local area. Not much in the local area. Got a post office. No, but farm shop. <clears throat> farm shop, literally. Nursery. Starbucks. So it has the porch of dreams. Like it's a beautiful oak porch, like I mm. said earlier, which is really, really nice. A garage. Storage. Yes. What? Um, <laughs> Jamie thinks he's getting the whole garage. 
So with the kitchen, it's like a dark grey with a oak worktop. Probably going to change the cabinets to like more of a like a beigey greyish colour because it's a cold, isn't it? It feels light grey, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> a nice big front driveway as well. Yeah, a nice like you literally half just block go paved, in, half really gravel. Nice. We thought the windows were white UPVC, but they are the actually cream. cream. Love God. a cream window. Yeah, potentially exciting times ahead. I shall keep you all updated. If you never hear me speak about this house again, it fell through. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't realise I was holding your other sugar captive. No, You've it been fell waiting. Out. No, no, no. Well, yeah. Until we finish talking. <laughs> you call it burger on your nose. Bogey. Burger. Yeah. I don't know, it's attached to your nose. Why is it attached? <laughs> I think it's a bit of skin. Oh! What is that? I thought he had a burger on his nose and I was pulling it and it was what like, it? it's gone now. Get it for me please. It's gone, look, it's gone. But it was like a little bit hanging off. Look at that spot, why is it so red? Good evening my loves, we are now home. I've had a lovely bath and hair wash and today has just been a really, really good day. And I'm about to start cooking dinner. Um, excuse Tilly or Teddy plucking the scratcher. It was Tilly. I'm about to start cooking dinner and literally I've been looking forward to this moment since I woke up because I have been seeing this recipe everywhere and I'm going to be making the famous TikTok feta pasta, feta tomato pasta. If you haven't seen it, let me find it. It looks so nice and so easy and I'm really loving a pasta dish recently so... Let me show you. Here's how to make it. Add tomatoes, olive oil, salt, and pepper to a baking dish. Then add a block of feta cheese right in the middle. Bake it 400 for 35 minutes. When it comes out, add some fresh garlic, fresh basil, and give it all a good mix. Then how add nice some of that cooked look? pasta right on top and give everything a good mix once again. And then it's time for the taste test. I've been seeing it for weeks and weeks and just never really got around to making it. Um, so I got everything to make it tonight. I can also use my, oh no, it's all right. Used by the 17th of the 8th, 21. So we've got a few more months left. Um, but I can use my bougie feta that I bought. And literally all you need is, where is everything? You need a whole like thing of feta, then you need olive oil and also some tomatoes. I just got like a selection of tomatoes. So the way I got some little fun tomatoes and then I also got these um, vine tomatoes every time. It's just Teddy going to the loo. Um, but yeah, I find vine, I find vine ripened tomatoes have so much more flavour. Jesus. What are we doing in there? Digging a hole to China? I'd add some of these just to add a little bit more flavour. And then I got some fresh pasta, purely because it boils so much quicker than like dry pasta. Pa waiting for pasta to cook is like the longest minutes in the whole world. Um, so I got some of this. And what else do I need? Salt and pepper. Um, and I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, fresh basil. So, fresh basil, which I thought that had gone off then, but it's all good. And I'm also going to pop a little bit of parma ham on the top as well because I love like parma ham in pasta. You could also add like olives to this. Um, you could have anything with it. I'm really sad that we don't have any garlic bread. I was thinking about this in the bath that I should have got some garlic bread but i'm not going to the shop to get garlic bread hello everyone's loving seeing you recently you're the star of the show <laughs> you're pushing my face away because you don't want to kiss <laughs> absolutely pied it's honestly just ow i was about to say you're the cutest cat ever but after that little attack ow i don't want to say that about you anymore hello tilly constantly surrounded by cats i love it Take me on 
on your treasure dive I've got nothing to lose After years with the blues So I popped the tomatoes and the feta with some olive oil and also some salt and pepper into my oven proof dish and I'm gonna pop this into the oven for 35 minutes it says um, and then whilst that's in the oven when it's kind of got like five minutes left I will boil my pasta because fresh pasta only takes literally a couple of minutes and then when it comes out the oven you apparently just mix it all and it turns into like a sauce and then that's when you add your fresh basil and you stir in your pasta and I'm gonna add a little bit of palm ham on top because I feel like that'll give it a little extra bit of flavor got the garlic don't forget the garlic right I'm gonna get out of the oven and add some garlic I haven't got a tea towel to hand so I'm gonna use the sleeves garlic as always I'm gonna use my lazy garlic because this is just amazing and it's what it says on the tin really or jar is lazy garlic so i'm gonna add about i do love garlic so i like to add quite a lot of garlic to things um so i'm gonna add about half a teaspoon just make sure everything is nice and coated take two in the oven for 35 minutes with the garlic I'm excited to see what you think as well. Can I eat them? <laughs> Go, quick. Mmm. 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 I don't know whether you just say mmm because you feel like you need no, to No, I do it mm, automatically. Because you literally just put that in your mouth without even tasting it. It was like mmm. Do you like it? It's never not mmm. So nice. Considering how easy that was, literally the creamiest, cheesiest. Where did you get the recipe? TikTok. The TikTok pasta. frosting for five minutes as it says on the pack and we have got a passion fruit a chocolate a vanilla a lemon and a coconut so these are the only flavors that i could get but to be fair i'm pretty happy with this little choice which one would you like to try first which one would you like to try which one would you like to try <laughs> um not coconut Oh, you don't like coconut, do you? No, you can try the coconut if you like. Okay. Go on, try the coconut. So, we have actually had the fresh ones of these from the sushi counter, and I did not like the texture of, like, the outside bit, the gooiness. 
Oh yeah. But apparently the these ones. are like yeah, the warm ones. Well, they apparently, weren't warm, they were like not warm. cold. Apparently these are a bit of a different texture. A hard. <gasps> so cold. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. I think if that was any more defrosted, I wouldn't like it. Because it still creamy. has the... It's quite what? Creamy. Mmm. Mmm. I love the coconut <coughs> one. I want to eat the rest of that one, but I know I've got to try other ones. I'll eat that one in a minute. I was worried they were going to be overhyped. That coconut one. Mmm. Mmm. Chocolate. You like? Mm. Mm. You liked the chocolate um, fresh ones, didn't you? It's a really weird texture. Do you know what I kind of don't, I don't like? Know what to make of it. I don't really like really cold things against my teeth. Mm. So that's kind of a bit like makes me a bit anxious when I'm biting into it. Let me show you the inside of the chocolate one. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. They are good. I like the inside of it, but I don't like the outside of that one's quite tough. The same as the other one, isn't it? Mmm. Watching you bite it. I said to Jamie earlier, I've got a bit of an obsession with watching people eat little moons. Like, I just like the. It's like a Solero. Oh, really? Ooh. So, this one is the passion fruit one. That's delicious. Is it? Mm, I like that one and the chocolate one. What do you think mm. of that? I prefer this one to the coconut one. That one is beautiful. Mm. It tastes exactly like a Solero. We've got a bowl of like half eaten. We can choose our favourites <laughs> after and eat them though. <laughs> Get some tea. I can't. I prefer you biting it. <laughs> what? Because I don't like that what initial do you like. Oh, you mean. What? I don't like the initial. Because when you've already bit it, I can kind of just chew a little bit off the end. I don't oh, okay. like the initial like sticking my teeth into ice. You don't like doing all the hard work at the beginning. Mm. Is that lemon? Mm. Let me try. You like lemon, don't you? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh my god, they're so different to the fresh ones. They are so if you've had a fresh one and you didn't like it, these are so different. But I can see why do you know what I'd say? If these were any more defrosted, I wouldn't like them. I feel like whilst they're quite hard, I like them, but if they were really gooey... Ooh. Right, vanilla. I feel, feel like the vanilla one is a little bit pointless. <laughs> Why? Cause... It's so like creamy. Oh no, you bite it. I forgot, sorry. It's your turn. It's, my, it's not my turn. It is your turn. You just don't like biting it. I can't wait to eat the rest of this coconut one. <laughs> Mm. Ooh. It's cold. Vanilla. <laughs> no <laughs> shit, it's ice cream. <laughs> In your teeth. Mmm. Oh my god. Is that your fave? <clears throat> I take back everything negative I said about vanilla. That is beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god. Oh my god, yum. Okay, well, we can... You pick... What, what one would you like to finish? Cheers. A bowl of half eaten. <laughs> I think they get more ball baggy when they melt. That's what I mean. Probably word just came in tomorrow. Ball baggy. Nutsack. <laughs> Walnut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, crinkled. Um, we're trying to get the TV to work because the internet is just... How bad is it? Literally the worst. When we finally get the TV connected, we have got our last episode of Marcella to watch. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel uh, quite good about it, actually. Thank you. Good about the fact that Marcella's ending? Did you not like it? No, it's alright. I feel like it's come to an end, though. Yeah, she's gone... She's, she's lost the plot. She has lost the plot. Anyway, my loves, we are going to 
watch our series and go to bed. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully today is the start of... A long walk process. <laughs> a new chapter! <coughs> <gasps> Moving vlogs, house yeah. tour. Oh, DIY stuff. Oh my god. I'm going to do like DIY panelling. Oh my god, panelling. Garage tour. Today could be the start of something magical. Hopefully. Um, can't wait for you guys to see the house. If it all goes through. Everything's so uncertain at this point. I'm kind of like, <coughs> I don't want to get too excited. Even though I'm definitely exciting. and. Uh, I mean, you've definitely been like planning rooms on Pinterest. <laughs> I was doing that before we even found a house. Visualising. Visualising it. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you see the little moons, buy the little moons because they <laughs> are worth every bit of hype they have received. Night, everyone. Love you all so much. Bye. <laughs>